Hey guys, Ash here from CuspFower.com and uh, this is my video on how to dual boot ROMs on the Galaxy S3 i9-300. So uh, the prerequisite here is that your phone needs to be rooted and must have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. And if you haven't done that already, uh, the link to do so can be found in the description. Another thing guys, uh, the, the two ROMs that you can dual boot, they need to be either uh, TouchWiz Jelly Bean ROMs or CM10 based ROMs. Alright, Ice Cream Sandwich or CM9 are not supported anymore. So you need to you need to use only TouchWiz based Jelly Bean ROMs or CM10 based uh, ROMs. So here goes. The first thing you need to do is go to the uh, download section in the description and download uh, the kernel, the CI kernel from there. That'll be link one. And uh, you can, uh, I mean, whether you are on a CM10 based ROM or a TouchWiz based ROM like uh, I am, get the second ROM that you want installed as well. So download CI kernel and the second ROM and transfer it to the internal or external memories. Uh, guys, you, need, you also need to have at least two gigs of free space on your internal memory. So, all right. Uh, right now I have about, let me show you how much space I have. Storage. So this is the device memory and right now I have about what do you say 11, 11 gigs uh, available and I've got 7.8 gigs free. Alright, you need to have at least 2 gigs free over here. Okay, so once you've, once you've ensured that you have the free space, what you need to do is uh, go ahead and hit, hit up volume, power and home at the same time. Just keep holding it. You can let it go once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and install CM10 as my secondary ROM over here. So the first thing you need to do is go and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from uh, internal or, extra or SD card or internal depending on where you have your file stored. I have it on the internal. Alright, and now you select CI kernel that you downloaded from link 1. All right. Once this is done, go back and hit reboot system now. All right, guys, we're up. So, just to show you, going into a bot device, you can see the kernel is here. All right. So now, just open up your app drawer. And you should find something called S Tweaks that now shows up. Sorry about that. Okay, just open up S Tweaks and just keep scrolling till you see dual boot. Over here, over here, just tap reboot into second ROM utils. All right, now let me just uh, pull the phone a little closer. Okay, so what you do here is, first off, go into dual boot options. And now scroll down and select format second ROM system. No matter if this is the first time you're doing it, just select format second ROM system. Yes, format. This is what it will say once it's done. Now go down and select wipe second ROM data slash cache. So you need to do this even if it's the first time you're installing a second ROM. This is going to be the procedure every time you do it. Done. Now again with Dalvik cache. Wipe second ROM Dalvik cache. That's done. And I've go down and select install zip from se to second ROM from internal SD or external SD depending on wherever it is that you've stored uh, the ROM files. I have it on internal SD. So going into CM10, I'm just going to flash the nightly version here. So let's just wait for it to complete.
Alright, now that's done. Just uh, go down. Again, to install. And now flashing the G apps. Alright guys, now we need to go ahead and flash uh, the kernel again. Just going, go back and go down and this time select install zip from SD card. The reason we need to do this is sometimes uh, some ROMs might go ahead and flash a different kernel over which means dual boot will not be possible anymore so just to ensure that doesn't happen you're just gonna go ahead and flash the CR kernel again. Alright, once this is done, just go back and hit reboot system now. So here you have the option to, to boot between uh, secondary and primary. So the primary ROM is the one that you had on when you, uh, from which you added the second ROM, the, sec the, the ROM that we installed right now, uh, that will be the secondary ROM. All right. If you want, you can go back and do uh, second ROM utils and swap both ROMs, but as I, I suggest you just leave it as it is. So now we are in the Dutch with based ROM. So in order to swap, let me quickly go into S tweaks again. And just move on to dual boot again. Close. Now reboot into second ROM. That's CM10. Alright, we're up, so let me quickly get through setup. Alright, skipping it. Skip. No, not enough. Next. That's CM10 here, just going to set him settings, about phone. There you see it's CR kernel and CM10. So if you wanna now put back into the the, uh, the the primary ROM, again just scroll over here, you'll find S tweaks. I love. Again go to dual boot and now this time reboot into first ROM. So guys, if you want to go ahead and update a ROM or if you want to switch between ROMs or if you want to install a new ROM, just go into S tweaks again and, and select reboot into a second ROM utils and then go ahead and replace either ROM the way you want to. And once we are up, I'll just show you that again. So here we are back on the Duchess based ROM. So uh, if you want to go ahead and change a ROM or update a ROM, this is what you need to do. Go into S tweaks. And go to dual boot, reboot into second ROM utils. And if you want to change the primary ROM or if you want to update the primary ROM, you just need to uh, follow the installation procedure as usual. Just go and install the SD card and do it. If you want to switch the secondary ROM, just go to dual boot options and do this. Uh, just go to uh, 
and just install zip uh, install uh, zip to second ROM from internal or external SD and just do the same procedure that we did earlier on. So that's pretty much it guys for dual booting on the Galaxy S3. Uh, if you have any questions or if you run into any issues, first off, uh, the link to the FAQ of the original thread is in the description. So if you have any issues, plus go ahead and check the FAQ out. And uh, after in installing a CM10 ROM, if you guys have any Wi-Fi issues, uh, which is the most common issue with this, uh, just go ahead and install a Tetris based ROM first as a secondary and then install a CM10 over that. Uh, and if you still have issues, you can always hit us up at Gusfarber forums. That's gusfarber.com slash forums. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, you can install either two uh, CM10 ROMs or two uh, Tetris based ROMs or one of each. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So before you guys go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, and uh, if you guys do want to help me out, use my links to Amazon from the description. Uh, uh, if there's anything that you want to order online, <coughs> excuse me, you can just go ahead. Uh, you can just click on my links and go through to Amazon search and order it. Doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff that you order. It's just that every time you guys place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. And uh, if you want to stay updated uh, on my latest updates and videos, you can always hit me up on. Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus. All my contact details are in, in the description. So uh, once again, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for staying subscribed. I'll see you guys soon. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.